Good evening, I'm Lindsay Thompson. Thanks for joining us. Volunteers are here getting ready for the Nellie Lutcher Better Block Party, which aims to reimagine this part of Lake Charles with local businesses and community gathering spaces. A plane carrying American evacuees from the Chinese city at the center of the coronavirus outbreak lands in Southern California. Early voting starts tomorrow, and we want to make sure that you know where to vote and what's on your ballot. I'm here at the Veterans Memorial Park where earlier today a ceremony was held to pay respects to the victims of the 9-11 attacks. An animal welfare group is criticizing the fairgrounds in New Orleans after four horses recently died at the house racing outlet. President Trump promised a new I-10 bridge if he is reelected in 2020. So with the Community Foundation, we're all about connecting people who care with causes that matter. Volunteers are here getting ready for the Nellie Lutcher Better Block Party, which aims to reimagine this part of Lake Charles with local businesses and community gathering spaces. This street is getting a makeover that includes murals and refreshed crosswalks to show what its future could hold. CEO of the Southwest Louisiana Community Foundation, Sarah Judson, says this project is all about improving the neighborhood, both economically and aesthetically. This area is really ripe for investment. That is really one of the goals is to create and enhance this area. Included in the volunteers are students from the ABC Training Center who joined this event to give back to the community. The construction industry is a very big part of uh, this area and uh, we want to show our students, you know, it, it's more about just training. We have to get out there and be active in the community. Attendees will get to enjoy some music, taste the local cuisine, and even do a little shopping. We'll have pop-up vendors that are out here so it looks like things are going on and it will inspire people to say, we could do that, we want to make that happen. In Lake Charles, I'm Lindsay Thompson. Three years ago this week, the devastating Gatlinburg fire was raging. Today, the community has rebuilt and is looking toward the future. And that's where it started. It looked like a volcano. This Smoky Mountains wildfire that burned over 16,000 acres destroyed many homes and businesses and took the lives of 14 people. It was started by two juveniles on Chimney Tops Mountain. One business that was completely destroyed by the fire was the Alamo Steakhouse. So we've got a little church next to us here. They didn't get touched by the fire. A um, little house of pancakes, they didn't get touched either. Um, we burned from the mountainside here with the trees falling on top of the building. So everything else around us was spared. Uh, unfortunately, we were not. After 11 months of rebuilding, the Alamo was able to reopen. Bowling explained what the reopening meant to the employees everything I mean you know we've got people we've been here since 1999 you know I've got employees here that have been here 20 years just being able to come home you know and, and be here with your with your family you know it's, it means a lot now the restaurant is operating in a new building in the same location and is a staple of the community once more park rangers warn the public to use precaution when dealing with fire in the mountains in Gatlinburg Tennessee I'm Lindsay Thompson this Halloween, the Sheriff's Office is advising parents to know before you go trick-or-treating. Uh, know before you go is uh, know what neighborhood you're going to, know where the sex offenders are in that neighborhood. Uh, we at the Sheriff's Office, we provide tools for the public to, to uh, find where those sex offenders are located. All you have to do is go to our website and uh, click on the sex offender registry, type in your address, and it's going to give you where all the sex offenders live in whatever neighborhood that you're going to for trick-or-treat. So you'll know ahead of time what houses not to go to. Along with this resource, the Sheriff's Office is taking other measures to keep kids safe this Halloween. Uh, they're going to all be out uh, making their rounds, making sure, checking on sex offenders, making sure they're not passing out candy in, in the neighborhoods. Uh, it is against the law for them to do that. Lake area parents are heeding these warnings and taking extra steps to protect their kids. I'm one of the proud grandparents and I do check the uh, sex offenders registry before I do uh, bring my kids out trick-or-treating or trunk-or-treating. Trunk Basically go to the trunk-or-treats that they have at the schools and uh, let them enjoy that. Yeah, I think it's safe. And, uh, we know all the parents that are there and they know us. In Lake Charles, I'm Lindsay Thompson.